I feel like shit every fucking day. I never seem to feel Please. okay. I wish Hugo Martin was my dad. You know me too, bud? Me too, bud? Hey everybody, it's Tyler Valve. At what point will I stop doing that? I keep doing that. Nice. That's so funny to me that I still do that. <laughs> I do- I have done that intro for like... A decade? Hey, what's happening guys? It's Tyler from Valve News Network. And today, you know, like... Hey everybody, it's Tyler. How you doing? How, how, you, how you doing? Um, working on a few things I want to talk about. Uh, biggest one being... Uh, Super Mario Odyssey 2 stuff I'm working on right now. <clears throat> Actually working on Super Mario Odyssey 2 stuff. Uh, which is kind of cool. I am uh, also working on uh, a whole bunch of Doom stuff. As, obviously, it's like what I've been obsessed with. Everybody's pointed like, oh, Tyler, you're being weird with Hugo Martin. Yes. And, you know. Doom? More like Broom. More like Broom. Thank you. Bye, Boats Gay. That's uh, 14 months for you. We also got a drama to 42442 with the 19 months and host no commentary with the 9 months. Thank you very much. Something that I did yesterday was learn how to use Gigapixel. Uh, Gigapixel is an AI upscaling software suite that allows you to take low quality images and upscale them. Um, and for Super Mario Odyssey 2, I upscaled a bunch of stuff from the art book. It's the art of Super Mario Odyssey 2, which I have right here. Electra actually bought me this for Christmas. Uh, the art of Super Mario Odyssey. And um, I also had to purchase the digital version on Amazon, Kindle. I had some problems. I had some problems. The biggest one being um, when using Amazon Kindle, you can't zoom in. You can't download or convert as a PDF. Also, Beerus is there, yeah. So what I had to do was download the Kindle app onto my iPad, try and get as large of a view of something as I possibly could, take a screenshot on the iPad, and then crop it down. Beerus. Hey, Beerus. Hey, buddy. Ugh. <laughs> He doesn't like that. <laughs> he has a thyroid problem. Um, so I did that, and um, the reason I did that is because there's some interesting stuff in the art book that is very much... Uh... Anyway, so I was able to up -res some of the really cool art from the art book. These are screen. These are cropped screenshots that went through Gigapixel. Yeah, and I think the results are really good. Um, so that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, we're also working on the uh, Doom Ancient Gods Part Two video uh, because there's a bunch of leaks and and all that good stuff. Another thing I'm working on is I'm trying to get interviews with Obsidian people. Uh, because in case you don't know, uh, we finally got Murder on Eridanos announcement trailer. Murder on Eridanos being the Outer Worlds, uh, part two. Uh, so, the Outer Worlds, uh, DLC two. We've also got, like, that stuff with Xbox Game Pass, which is super crazy to me because it's like, like every game, like, holy shit, all of these games are going to be thrown on Game Pass soon. Dishonored, Dishonored 2, Doom, Doom 2, these are the Unity ports, which are great. Doom 64, Doom 3, which is the BFG edition with the expansions. Doom Eternal, New Vegas, Fallout 4, Fallout 76, Prey 2017, Rage 2, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, ESO, Evil Within, New Order, Old Blood, Young Blood. Holy shit, those are going up tomorrow. Holy shit. And also, they're adding xCloud to Game Pass, so you can play that literally anywhere. Game Pass is fucking nuts. Game Pass is nuts. Holy shit. So, anyways, um, 
The Ancient Gods Part 2. Uh, there is no uh, Josh and, and Hugo stream tonight. They delayed it until next Wednesday. So they're very obviously going to shadow drop this shit. Um, because this Monday we get the trailer. So this Wednesday we're going to get the DLC. What's amazing yes. to me... Oh, Reno with the 20 gift subs. Thank you yes. very much, Reno, with the 20 gift subs. Reno is, of course, my sugar daddy. And by the way, if you can help a guy yes. out, exclamation point, donate in the chat. Uh, I'm going through some pretty uh, hard times right now. Anyways, I uh, want to talk about a few more things. Then yes. we're going to start a new game of Doom 2016, and we are going to try and do an all secrets run over the course of a few days. Um, we're starting that today. Nice. So, um, what was I talking about? Oh, right. Murder on Eridanos nice. comes out on the 17th. The big, which I believe if you're even at least a little interested nice. in the Outer Worlds, this is the, this is like much bigger than uh, Peril on Gorgon. Peril on Gorgon was like six hours. Nice. This is much bigger than that. And it's really cool. I've liter I literally know everything about it because th they accidentally left all the development nice. files in the Steam build of the Outer Worlds. But that build is like seven months old, so it's a bunch of beta. Nice. I have it all backed up, and after it's out, we'll talk about it. But uh, literally all the text to sp when you write nice. it out, they they then have a text to speech program act as temp dialogue instead of the recorded stuff. And there's like seven or eight hours nice. of recorded dialogue. I was I kept teasing that video. I showed off a few bits of that video, and then I never made the video. I never had time. Nice. Megan Starks, who was one of the lead writers on the Outer Worlds project, is actually game director on Murder on Eridanos. Nice. Uh, so that's fucking cool. But it also raises the question of what's Josh Sawyer, Tim Kaine, Leonard Boryarvsky, nice. and um, the fourth one, I can't remember. What are they working on? It's Avowed. They're working on Avowed and possibly nice. the Outer Worlds too. They're not working on New Vegas too, as far as I know. However, Josh Sawyer out of nowhere going, I'm not answering New Vegas questions anymore, nice. is a little sus. To me, that's maybe like, oh, okay, I'm working on New Vegas stuff again, so I, like, legally can't talk about yes. it, but I'm gonna say, you know, like, I'm not talking... Well, uh, 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 uh. another thing I'm working yes. on. Uh, Moonly and I, Moonly is the creator of Creators.tf, also the big-ass Creators.tf update, which is a multi-day yes. event. Like, it's, the, it's bigger than most major content updates from Valve. It's so fucking big. Uh, I had a meeting with Moonly about both the, um, about the update and, like, how we're going to cover the update, um, and then also, uh, season, finishing up season one of Team Fortress 2's cut content, and we wrote out a list of seven episodes, and we're going to try and get them all done by the end of the month, and then release them once every two weeks, once they're all done. Uh, and the next episode will be called Team Fortress 2 Cut Content Episode 4, A Fucking Brick. And it's a really good episode. We also have um, uh, a couple spotlights uh, for the TF2 community. I might make a video on the Face It thing. I've known about the Face It thing for months. Um, and that's what Big Joey Slapnuts was was saying was happening. It's uh, Face It's creating their own casual. Uh, Creators.tf has nothing to do with it, but we're all like, fuck yeah, that's awesome. Um, however, um, you know, things like the balance mod, things like, um, pre-fortress 2. How come you're back into cut content now? I needed a break. I don't know. Just let me make what I want to make, man. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you for the support. <laughs> uh, also, I was browsing eBay like I do, trying to find cool merch, um, for cheap, as I normally do. And I found out that this book exists. I did not know that this book exists, but this book exists. The Making of Doom what? 3. Good luck, Doom. Mega Rammy with the $20. Mega Rammy. Mega Rammy. Mega Rammy. Yeah, Pre Fortress had a big update. That's why I want to talk about it. But The Making of Doom 3 by Stephen L. Kent. Stephen L. Kent is the guy that wrote the ultimate history of video games. That big fucking book from the library. But I didn't know this book existed. It's raising the bar for Doom 3 
it's really fucking cool. There does not exist a scan of this anywhere. And I got it for like 10 bucks. So I'm gonna be reading this soon. There is no ebook version, there is no scan of this, um, but it really goes into, like, Jesus, it goes into a lot of cut content. For example, huh, I didn't even know this and I can't even show it, uh, but originally, uh, the, the, the spider mastermind had, uh, nipples with bouncing breasts. Literally says, bouncing breasts. The, the spider boss that you fight has, uh, yeah, bouncing nubile nippled boobs. Okay. It, it was a different time. <laughs> Let's play some Doom. <laughs> So we're gonna be playing uh, Doom and Doom Eternal a little bit on and off. That's what we're gonna be streaming mostly uh, until the Ancient Gods comes out. However, it looks like we're getting the Outer Worlds and the Ancient Gods on the same day, which is fucking nuts. Um, uh, can we get a loud? Can we get loud in chat? All right. We're gonna do 30 and we're gonna turn on subtitles. All right, we're gonna do ultra violence because I don't want to hate myself. All right, we're starting a new game of Doom 2016. They are rage, brutal. Tyler, will you be my dad? No. When are you gonna play Plutonia? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe one day. Stream is acting laggy. Everything's good on my end. Hi, Tyler. When engine? Coco, no. Uh, it's looking like next week. A week from today, probably. <laughs> Would you want to play the original version of Doom 2016? Yes, very much so. And uh, exactly as, like, like a full historic report on classic Doom 4, Doom 4 Classic, is something I definitely want to do. Uh, definitely. Like, that's something I've already started working on, actually. I have all the PDAs from Doom 4 Classic, which is cool. <laughs> I want to know when the Day Our Rage Novik line takes place. It must be known. Do we know that it's King Novik, though? Because it's a completely different voice actor, isn't it? Like, the against all the evil sounds way different. What PDFs? No, PDAs. You know how there are PDAs in Doom 3? Doom 4 Classic had PDAs, and I, I have them. I got back into Doom Eternal recently, and I'm gonna do 100% my save for DLC 1 soon. Fuck yeah. Like I said a couple of times, I would love to be able to play DLC 1 and 2 as if it was one uncut game. Like a Doom Eternal 2 kind of thing. No, I'm pretty sure it's King Novak as well, but at the same time, it's like... So much was not written in Doom 2016, right? Like, the only thing from Doom Eternal that really existed is that the Night Sentinels were a thing and that the Dark Lord was a thing. But he actually, King Novik actually, I don't know, he said Dark Lords in the Slayer's Testaments. I don't know. Oh, like story, yes. Welcome. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I'm the head of this facility. Does it seem like that Sam's voice is a bit more gravelly and darker in Doom 2016 than... I don't know, I've always kind of liked Hayden's voice in 2016 over Eternal. I like Eternal more, but I do like Hayden's voice in this game better. A guy that leaked stuff from Microsoft already posted some shots from the Ancient Gods 2 trailer. Not falling for it. Not falling for it. I'll have to wait for, like, one of my trusted sources to do that, because I literally rickrolled you about it yesterday, so... Oh, I like Eternal way better, but 2016 has its merits on a lot of stuff. I do like how 2016 is a far more contained experience, you know? He meant the Demon Lords, but the Dark Lords has a Dark Lord has its own title. Okay. Lockdown in effect. 
Nice. Yo. Hey, Tyler, it's me, Martin Lorenz. Hey, Martin Lawrence fan. That's four months for you. Thank you. Now, it's funny because, like, um, I don't know. It's like all I can think about is Doom lately. That's all I want to play. Fucking love Doom, man. Doom is so good. I I think I'm done achievement hunting in BFG for right now. I'm definitely gonna go back. This is ultra violence. Um, I can do nightmare, but not while I'm streaming. Nightmare in Doom 2016 is like hurt me plenty in Doom Eternal, but I will say when playing Doom 2016, I try and blood punch all the time. It's like, I want a mod. I don't know if it's possible, given the, the capabilities of the modding scene. I would love a Doom 2016 mod that would love, that would able, that would make me be able to blood punch and dash. I try and blood punch. You're gonna watch me do it, and it's embarrassing. But I try and blood punch constantly. Did you see the question I asked you on Discord earlier? No, what'd you ask? I don't really read Discord PMs very much from people that I don't normally talk to. It's pretty much just like John, Coolman, Luigi Blood, simple flips, you know. It wasn't a PM, it was a report question. Oh, uh, what was it? You can ask me here, that's fine. Also crouching. You see, Doom Eternal's style just feels like modernized Doom 3. You know? I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but... I don't know about a release date, but he did show an image. DM me. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly... HL2 VR is dead, yeah. Modern Doom is far more like Quake than Doom. Yeah. Did you ever mention something about an Oculus employee getting HLA running on a quest? That was a rumor for a while, yeah. Uh, we're going for achievements, so of course I'm gonna try and get all the PDAs. Did you see that Stawn X? Oh yeah, I did see that. I saw that they announced it around the, the Kickstarters around the same time that you have like the, uh, HTC being dickheads again. HTC sucks, guys. HTC is the worst. Let's make version two of our product more expensive than version one. Okay. No one uses five. It's not kickstarted, it's just a pre-order. DM to you, thank you. Check it after the prologue. Pre the pre preface, whatever it's called. John Carmack said in the last uh, Oculus talk that public VR, like industrial, like commercial VR is done because of the pandemic. You know, it's just done. Like, you can't, you can't have it. Oh, wow. Saw that. Saw that. Didn't see that. New image. 
dude, this DLC is going to be fucking nuts. <laughs> coming out March 18th. Did John leave Oculus? No, but he's now just like... He's not like... How do I put it? I don't know. He's not the same that he used to be. He, he's like a consultant now. Yeah, a week from today. Haven't started Doom Eternal, had it in December. Yeah, you should play it. Hold up. Am I in full screen mode? Yeah, let's not do that. How did that DLC leak so much, man? I have because work from home. Because work from home. Because work from home. It's, it's super simple to explain. It's because of work from home. If you haven't played Doom 2016 either, play Doom 2016 before you play Doom Eternal. Because one is, is, is vastly superior to another, but they're still very, very good games. They have updated Artifact. Okay. Yeah, 2016 is a very good warm-up to, to Eternal, yes. Now, you're gonna see a few artifact updates because once they went free to play, a bunch of people started playing. But they're not gonna... What they're saying is they're done making, like, big updates. You know? Yeah, Mega Rami is our local artifact nerd. Have you ever wanted to learn another language, Tyler? Not really. I, I don't know. I'm busy. Like, I have way too much other stuff to do, you know? What's your dream personal vacation? Oh god, I don't know. I don't really like travel that much. I wish they'd fix the UI on Foundry. Oh, they fixed the UI on Foundry? Is Ar Arcane Austin's project coming this year? Probably not. the id tech engine is going to be a big deal moving and i saw that yeah id tech 7 is going to be huge for x for microsoft in general which is very smart id tech 7 is fucking nuts Can we finally get a new Quake game? Yeah, probably. To be honest, yeah, probably. It's the content production that matters? What do you mean by that?
No chainsaw hurts. Yeah. Yeah, early Doom 2016 doesn't... It, it feels like a completely different game. It does kind of feel like Quake. Would the next Doom be locked behind Microsoft? No. Or Xbox? No. Uh, it would... It would be... It would have a PC port. Like, it would be on PC. It's just... It wouldn't be on PlayStation, probably. And that's whatever. I always forget where this last secret is. They added credits for artifacts going over who they removed. They removed Chris Remo? Chris Remo's not at Valve anymore. They removed Chris Reno? He just started there. Did you play the Titanfall 2 campaign? About half of it. Chris Remo is fucking awesome. Wait, they removed Eric Wolpaw and Doug Lombardi's name? Wolpaw might not be at Valve right now, but Lombardi is. He literally just answered a question about CSGO for the public late, like... I don't know if, if those credits are, are legitimate in that, like, they represent valve right now, but I don't know. Eric taking a break? No, he, his HLA work was contractual, so it was just like he signed on to help with HLA. I don't think Eric ever planned on staying, you know. Who will write the next Half-Life game? I don't fucking know. How would I know that? <laughs> Robin is not a writer. I said think. Welcome will I be covering Starfield? Yeah. Does Citadel have a story? Yeah, kinda. All right, resource operations. My least favorite level of the game because you get to hear Olivia Pierce say, I demand loyalty over and over and over and over again. G. Barnett, Matty Wood, and Mike Moraski also removed from this diff. Hello. Mike Moraski is out of that. Matt doesn't work there anymore. He hasn't worked there in forever. I have heard Jeep left though. Sentient intelligence assigned to Mars. 
After running diagnostics on the Praetor suit, it appears that I can activate optional challenges that, when completed, will assist in upgrading your arsenal at an accelerated pace. Who left, Jeep or Mike? Tracking component to your dossier. Will the intern character stick around? Oh god, I hope so. I love the intern character. Do I have challenges? Yeah, I do. I don't think the intern's gonna get killed. Do you think the next one will be Quake? I don't know. To be completely honest, I'd so much rather see, uh... Hexen. I was thinking about that the other day. I'd love to see a Hexen reboot by id. No, yeah, I mean, I did hear that Valve cleaned house. Yeah, Activision does own it. That's, that is true. Do you think the next Valve HMD will be cheaper than the Index? No, I think it'll be significantly more expensive because they're going to add BCI crap to it. Any veterans left? Well, if that list is anything to go on, yes. Quake 4 is quite dope. Yeah, I've heard. So I need to do two possessed with one shotgun pull. I always forget a good place to do that. Quake 4 is the Doom 3 of the series. No, Quake 4 is like a direct continuation of what they were doing in Quake 2, wasn't it? Like, it was a Quake 2 sequel. Right? Fuck off. It shifted away from multiplayer and had more of a single-player focus. Well, you know how, like, originally they didn't want to call it Quake 2? It was like War, like W-U-R or something? Well, that should count. In my head, I still kind of see it as that. That should have counted, too. Wait, one trigger pull, right? So, the explosive shot would count. Right? So, yeah. Hey, quit it. Jesus Christ. I just tried to blood punch, by the way. I, ju I, just, I just thought, like, why didn't the blood punch go through? Boink. No, they kept the name for money. I know, I know. And it's the smart decision. But Quake 2 is not Quake. Like, I mean, Quake 2 is an entirely different thing than Quake 1. And we all know that. Like, they, in development, weren't thinking this is Quake 2. I don't know. Kind of like Mario 2? Mm, kinda. Here at the UAC, you can 
What we really need now is a LEGO Island reboot. I'll do you one better. We need a LEGO Racers reboot. Do you meet the requirements for this year's Soul Harvest, guys? One day. Lego Racers was God tier? Hell yeah. Minecraft Hunger Games in Sandbox. That sounds dope. Yeah, Lego Racers 1 is so much better than Lego Racers 2. Fight me, man. It's, it's, everybody knows it. Don't embarrass yourself. One and two are great for different reasons. I grew up with one and I never played two. So that's the only reason. Lockdown. In effect. Two is open world. What the fuck? I should probably play it. Nah, I do like the punches do damage. They obviously took that out so that even the fodder demons were thre threatening. Oh, dude, I completed Lego Racers 1 when I was like 8. Rocket Racer, run, my man. We should stream Lego Racers. I've been wanting to do a stream series where it's me and my brother Chris playing the old like Windows 98 PC games we used to play together when we were like really young. Just like him and I sitting at the computer playing like Lego Racers and 3D Ultra Pinball Thrill Ride and shit. Foil. I feel like that'd be a lot of fun. We're waiting and- Ah, oh, I walked right into it. We're waiting until we're both vaccinated. Do you think Left 4 Dead 3 will ever release? Nope. Do you think LEGO Racers 3? Did I say LEGO Racers 3? Left 4 Dead 3. No, I don't. Yeah, Jeep left valve. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at the, the credits. Jesus Christ. A lot of people left Valve. If this is actually like something you can go off of. Okay, well, I know Matt Nickerson left. He did leave. Matt Charlesworth did leave. Oh shit, this is real. Katie, Katie Hardgrove left? Joe Ludwig left? Jeep left. Eric Wolpa, Eric Strand, Doug Lombardi? Chris Remo. Brow and Grimes. What the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait. Bill Van Buren? Alex Vlahos? Alan... Adam Foster? What the fuck is going on? Dude, did a bunch of fucking people leave? Because... They shipped a, a Half-Life game and were like, okay, I can finally leave this fucking place. I can leave. Ugh. Damn. <clears throat> I picked a good time to stop being Valve News Network. Holy shit. 
That is a lot of people leaving. No, I know, and obviously it's probably the best thing for them, but... But did Mike leave? I'll, d I'll straight up DM Mike. Mike is really nice. That would break my heart if he wasn't making... idea of Mike all the time. Mike's cool guy. Terror, terror Billy figure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm organizing my stuff. I also have um, Quake Champions figure. And uh, Villager Amiibo. Alright. So I died, because I walked into a big blast like a dumbass. No, it straight up feels like, okay, we got a Half-Life game done, I'm done. Because of the lack of resources, this part right here has always been one of the hardest bits for me to complete. No, it's an excellent note to close out on, definitely. All right, well, just just restart at that point. Valve has executive dysfunction. Valve is not a good company. Valve can be very good, like very rarely, and when they are good, they're the best. They're the absolute best in the industry, no cap. But there, I just I like look. I don't think uh, I don't want to really get into things. But do you think if there's ever a person that's been able to see the underbelly of that company without actually having to enter it, it would be me? Yeah, so... I don't know. I've heard horror stories, man. I've been hearing horror stories for a really long time. And... Then I started actually seeing them. Did you know originally when Mick Gordon was hired to work on this Doom project, they told him they didn't want any guitars in the soundtrack? Will Valve need to restructure their studio? They've been they've needed to restructure their studio for years. They'll never do it. Also, Jeep definitely left Valve, which is a fucking shame. Yeah, mix, uh, mix GDC talk about making the soundtrack to Doom 2016 is, is one of my favorite GDC talks ever. And I recently just saw it for the first time. Because I'm getting ready to enter, uh, to... Mm. Don't tell anybody, it won't happen. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to say that. Remember the door presentation? I do. It's a good day. Delete the VOD. Okay, so Valve is probably not going to release games anymore. They lost the VR race. Epic Game Store is taking their storefront market share. Their games on a competitive level are dying. What is Valve? Oh, uh... Valve's still going to be making games. It's just nobody's going to care about their games like they used to because there was such a gap between releases, right? Like, like Citadel will come out. 
But will people give a shit about Citadel? As another story, because Citadel's super weird. Half-Life Alex proved that Valve can make a good game, but nobody really cares anymore. You know what I mean? Is Citadel an Alien Swarm tier release? It depends if they put first person in it or not. It's a long story, guys. Uh, look, I, you gotta just... Ah, uh, fuck! I did it! I did the fucking noob thing! Welcome to the UAC's Mars installation, located in the vast Ellis Plain Impact Basin. Uh, Unannounced meetup at Valve? Absolutely not. Imagination each and every day. As a valued employee, your loyalty is more than just a commitment to the UAC. Valve doesn't fire warning shots, you're right. No, this level is one of the hardest in the game, like for real. Because the secrets are like some of the hardest to find and I don't know. It's just one of the hardest ones. Valve shoots themselves in the foot a lot. Yeah, I know. I just joined. What's going on? I'm just talking about Valve. More like they double barrel their knees off. That's fucking funny. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. Kind of wish Sandbox stayed on UE4 now. Oh, no, absolutely not. Sandbox on Source 2 is the only way you were going to get Sandbox. Getting, sa getting Source 2 in the first place is what got Gary to really give a shit about the project. Do you know what I mean? Like, without Source 2, Gary was not probably going to finish it, but then he was given Source 2 and he's like, okay, this is fucking cool, let's do it. No, I have a Gary Newman interview, but like, it's gonna be a while before that happens. You're just now noticing how claustrophobic Doom Meet Doom 2016 is compared to Eternal. Oh, yeah. Is there... So I feel like there's something in here. Doom VFR is fine. It's not great, but it's okay. What if Microsoft buys Valve? Uh, at this point? Well, I don't know. You'd need a couple more years of them shooting themselves in the foot. How many secrets do I have? I am missing two. Finding all the secrets in this game is, is hard. You go outside, and then there's the... Did I get all of them in here? I think I did. All UAC 
OEC employees are subject to regular med checks to ensure their production capabilities are not degraded. Oh, that's the auto map. Did I really not collect the auto map? Fuck. <laughs> That's such a- that's so, like, the beginning of the fucking level. I can't believe I did that. Alright, let's berserk. Man, I usually have tutorials off. What what the fuck is going on here? I, I forgot just how many tutorials they absolutely litter your screen with. Yo, thanks for the hundred bits, Agrico. Would Valve port Half-Life Alex to PSVR 2? Yes. They would. That is a possibility. But, you know, would they actually? I don't know. Like, Valve loves fucking around with tech, right? And if there's something interesting PSVR 2 brings to the table, then yeah, they'd probably fuck around with it. It really does look like a stripped-down version of Eternal. Alright, I have to remember, are there two secrets? Back- I know there's the one with the- the figure over here. Second one. They're said to have dual sense features, but they're also said to have the they're gonna have like index support, like finger tracking. Quest two still is kicking ass though. Quest two absolutely is dominating. There's no argument for that against that. Blocking your access to the facility scanner. Come to the vacant terminal, and I'll give you what you need. Oh, that's right. Am I one behind? Yeah, okay. And so they're not doing combat effectiveness in this one, so I'm not missing out. And then the Argent cell is in the Vega terminal. Did Valve do something specific? No, it's just, you know. Oh, well, yeah, a bunch of people fucking left. Like, a lot of people left. A lot of, like, big-name people. Supposedly. Yeah, Jeep left. It looks like like Mike Moraski might have left. Doug Lombardi might have left. I don't know. I mean, Doug Lombardi leaving is... You know. Robin has not left. Yeah, apparently Chris Remo might have left, which is super fucking sad. Because he, I thought he was just getting started. I don't think Mike and Lombardi left. Then why aren't they on the fucking credits? Robin's in it for the long haul. Yeah, I know, but still. The Wilderness 2.0, Pog.
At least there won't be the Wilderness 3. Oh, got him. I know that there's some... It's one of these here. Oh, it's over there. I love the plasma gun. I'll let you know if he tells me if he left or not. <clears throat> we have four Praetor suit tokens. We gotta do dexterity first, though. I try and always go dexterity first. CSGO isn't going to die. It's just CSGO is not going to get the kind of support that you want it to get. It's Valve. It's just, it's not how they work. And they have not done well from work from home. They just, they have not. Yeah, so here's the last secret. I cannot imagine what it would have been like if I had continued being Valve News Network. through all this shit. Oof. It would not have been good. Alright, unskippable cutscene. It's a gift. Is staff worth we're leaving worth a video? Take no. It. I'd have it to give you more money. You should give me more money journey. now. It's it's still pretty if tight because people don't watch the new videos courage. as much. Like I have a year of grinding. Now, I know everybody that's here watches the new videos because you watch all the streams. No, on the bright side, I can make whatever the wall now. Exactly. Sam. Sam, speak up. What is going on? Why is he so quiet? No, long term, much better. What's going on? It's nighttime. It's fucking nighttime! It's bedtime! <laughs> I mean, we all, like, we all know this. Too far. Took it too far. 61,000 people died. Too far. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, shit's a bit broken right now. What the hell? UAC can never get anything right. Now, Foundry! That level fucking slaps. Foundry is, like, one of the best early levels. And I feel like we can all agree on that. Foundry is so fucking good. I feel like Foundry's the level that we were all like, holy shit, this game is, is, this is special. Because the game starts, and it's like, oh wow, yeah, that's pretty good. And then Foundry's like, oh wow. By the way, I finally got good Quest 2 knuckle straps. These are really good. Not important, but... Just letting you know. This Valve News is making me sad, and these pretzels are making me thirsty. 
Let me get some water. Look at that 100%. Ultra violence, everybody. Ultra violence. No need to get violent, ladies and gentlemen. Uh. No, yeah, that's the next thing I want to get is the Quest 2 battery strap. Because I've been playing a fuck ton of Quest Z Doom. Like, Quest, because it supports, like, all GZ Doom mods. Alright. And it's just, it's beautiful. It's fucking beautiful. It's so good. Uh, Alright, what am I doing? Dr. Beef is so good. I got an interview with him coming up. Oh yeah, Jeep left. Jeep did leave. Here's Jeep Barnett's LinkedIn profile. He was at Valve for 15 years. Something happened. Something happened. Diagnostics on infective Brader suit. It appears that I can accelerate the upgrading of your arsenal by measuring your combat effectiveness. Thank you, Cody. I've added a tracker to your helmet's display. He works at the studio behind the Elder Scrolls Blades. What? What? Are you fucking kidding me? That can't be right. Snowden Studios. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's true. That is true. That is true. I just looked it up. It's true. That's so the weird. The will not allow you access to the turbine room unless the demonic threat level is brought down inside the fire. What's the over under on him he's leaking shit? He's never leaked anything to me. He never. He was never one of the people that leaked. Nope. We talked all the time, uh, especially a few years ago. He never was one of them that leaked. No. Like, there are- there's always a way to get somebody to talk about something. I thought he didn't like you. No! Ugh. He unfriended me after I put out one of my first Left 4 Dead 3 reports back in, like, 2016. And I was like, did I piss you off? Are we cool? Because we were talking a lot. And he goes, I just need to wait for things to cool down. Your last report was really good. Like, too good. So... Just realize you're good at your job. Thanks. And now that he doesn't work at Valve anymore, I'm comfortable telling that story. And also, it was years ago, so... Yeah, I could probably find out what the fuck's happening. That'd make for a good video. People are working on Citadel, though. Citadel is real, and it is what they're working on. If you do your job well, Valve hates you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I didn't go out of my way to get a fucking Half-Life Alex beta build. Shit like that just happens. Shit like that just happens. But whatever, guys. I there's some st uh, I'm probably going to write a book. I've been act I've been legitimately thinking about it. Because there are some stories. I have some stories. Well, 
yeah, I had somebody send me some absolutely insane beta shit for another company I don't normally cover. But I legit had to be like, delete this off of your computer because I want nothing to do with this because it was too much. Well, I guess if I don't say the company, I can tell the story. Somebody bought, I won't say the company, but somebody bought a hard drive off of eBay um, and did a, a, like a recover data on it, recover data analysis on it. And it was just like a quick format. And it turns out it was a drive from a pretty prominent AAA game company. And the whole thing was there. And I'm like, delete this. Absolutely delete this right now. Like the whole OS, you could fucking launch into the OS and it wasn't password protected. It's like, yeah, no, delete it. I want nothing to do with this. And I told, I legit had to tell the company, what the fuck just happened there? What was that? Did you see that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Doom OST versus Eternal OST? Doom OST. Yeah. Have you filled out your UAC accidental death in this <sighs> Kill three possessed with one explosive barrel. Oh, that sucks. That one's really hard to do. Was it a game you were interested in? No. Not at all. It's a game I've never, I didn't even, like, I've heard of, but I had, I've never played before and I have no interest in. So I have a, I have a system of how I do the three deaths, one barrel thing. And it's really hard. Oh, I don't have nothing to do with it. But they tried, they, they sent it to me. They were like, do you want this? And I go, what is it? And then they t told me what it was. And I was like, no, delete it. You need to delete this. And then I alerted the company. No, I wouldn't get in trouble, but again, like, oof, big oof. What do you think about Phil Spencer using the Intech engine for other projects? I think that's genius. The Intech engine is fucking great. Hey Tyler, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Broke, but I'm good. Exclamation point! Donate in the chat. But why don't you? You still got any rumors about exclusive AAA games for Oculus? I have rumors, yeah. There's a lot of companies wanting to work with Oculus now that they've sold really, really well. But you've got another year to two years before you really start seeing the fruit of that, right? Because oh, people are only now starting to really get into the development of it, and that's understandable. The platform is finally here, but it's not... You've still got a while before people really care, you know? Or, like, the developers, like, have the, the, the games to show it off. Ow. Alright, hold up. Kill everything! Did I do it? No. Do you think all this money in VR will finally turn it away from being a gimmick? I've never thought it was a gimmick. Uh, and there are some just absolutely insanely good shit on the quest right now, both officially and unofficially. Like, there's a VR MMO that just came out a couple of days ago that I've really wanted to try. And, um... There was a game on SideQuest for a long time. You know, some people for, until App Lab came out we're using SideQuest as, like, early access almost. 
which was really cool. Um, you can play Pavlov Shack on it and stuff. And all of Dr. Beef's ports. Anyways, there was a game called Hyper Dash on SideQuest that just came out. And, um, like, it came out officially, but I've been playing it for a while. Holy shit, Hyper Dash is so much fun. It's like, how do you... Hyper Dash answers the question of, how do you make, like, a, qu like a Quake-style arena shooter in VR, but comfortable? But that comfort settings don't take away from the action of it, like the fast-paced nature of it all. So good. So good. It does what it sets out to achieve. No, I've not played Gorilla Tag. Everybody's asked me to play Gorilla Tag. Hyper Dash. I think it's called Hyper Dash. I, I don't remember what it's called, to be honest. But it's really good. Really, really, really good. I played the, I played the fuck out of it for a while. And then... Um, should I tell my OG Vive and Knuckles to get a quest too? Yes. Yes, you should. The grapply hook one? No. God, it's been a while. Dr. Beef's port of um, Half-Life, by the way. So, Dr. Beef did a port of Half-Life 1. It's called Lambda 1 Quest, or Quest Lambda, or Lambda Demonic Quest, or something like that. Right. And it's fucking phenomenal. It's so good. Um, but, it supports Half-Life 1 Deathmatch. The Quest port of Half-Life 1 supports deathmatch. I played a little of it. It's buggy because your guns only fire where you're looking and not where you're aiming your guns. And it's awesome. Is it index compatible? No, it's on the quest. All right, so this shit's really hard what I'm trying what I'm about to do. You just walk by all of them. You kill the imp. And you push these out of the way. I cannot tell you how many times I tried to do this. And boink. Yes, but did I get it? Yes, but did I get it? Yes, but did I get it? Try it again. Last time I tried to do this, which was like two months ago, last time I tried to play through this, I was playing a modded playthrough, which doesn't count for achievements. Um, it took me like half an hour, so we might be here a while trying to get this. There's two. There's your three. Oh, okay. Just go to the part with the secret classic map. Does that help? Does that work? Really? If that's easier, then I'm a dumbass because last time I played through Tomb 2016, that's a good spot. Well, fuck. Okay, fine. Fine. Let's go there. Now I feel dumb. If that's true, I feel really dumb. Kill all the stronger demons first. Why are the barrel physics so jank? Because the game wasn't designed to have barrel physics. There's really no real physics in this game. Oh, someone's using exclamation point trade in the chat. No one uses that anymore. 
Why is my nose itch so bad? What's in here? Oh, it's just this again. Bye! Wait, did I keep the... Yeah, I did. We're gonna believe Glucose here and see if what he's telling me is the truth or a lie. No matter how many times I've played Foundry, I always get stuck in Found. I always get lost. Why? Trim your nose hairs? Oh, Trim your nose hairs. Are you excited for Shimagami Tensei 5? No. Not in the secret level? Oh, you just mean this area. This bit right here. Okay. So, kill all the higher class demons. Leave all the possessed. How many possessed are there? Three? Okay. Oh, I completely agree about the color palette thing. Yeah. Got it. Thank you, Glucose. Everybody, somebody VIP Glucose. Glucose was right. Ah, fuck! Damn it. Demonic threat reduced by 25%. This is why I don't do ultra nightmare runs. Oh, right, right, right. Bacon bits, you need you need mod. That's right. Okay. I feel like I've destroyed more than Demonic one of the gore nests, but whatever. <sighs> Can you tell I take Twitch really seriously? Core temperature rising. Does that stay? Yeah. Well, there's all the texture popping because it tech six still relied on mega textures, right? Super efficient. Pop and fuck. Mega textures. Brought to you by its software. Do you have any monitor suggestions? Yeah, the AOC curved 32 inch 1440p display. Great shit. Carmax reverse? More like Carmax dumb. Got him. Yeah, 144. I'd love a 240, but I'm not made of money. In fact, I'm broke. Doo -doo. This is my favorite uh, Doom One track. Do, 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 do. This slaps just as hard as any Mick Gordon track. Fight me. 
Song's so good. Doo, 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 doo. Okay. And what are my other challenges? Three death from above killed on possessed soldiers. Find two collectibles. Okay. Do I have any key cards? I have an arm. I have an arm. <clears throat> this version of Doom is better than the DF BFG version. Oh my god. If I hear one more person complain about the BFG version. I am going to stream the BFG version only. Yeah, but the BFG version, uh, it's, 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 it gives up the lighting and ammo drops. Yeah. BFG version also came packaged with Doom 1 and 2, and No Rest of the Living, and Thy Flesh Consumed. And The Lost Mission, which isn't very good. And Resurrection of Evil, which is better than Doom 3 normal. Nah, I put like 40 hours into Doom 3 BFG in the last two weeks. I played, for the Doom 3 VR edition video, I, I had to play. My rule is, if I'm gonna report on a game, I need to have played that game. And that's a rule Electra and I agree on. We both hate it when journalists report on a game that they obviously don't fucking give a shit about. Lamau missed a secret. Oh, did I? Or maybe I've already been here and it counted already? You fucking dickhead. So, you know, I made it- I was gonna make a Doom 3 video, but I had never played Doom 3, so I played Doom 3. What does that fucking fingerprint mean? Oh, it must mean because I was carrying a hand. Like, a literal hand. Oh, gas leak stop, that's good. Did you end up playing Stalker at all? Not yet. I got distracted with Wolfenstein. Have you filled out your accidental dismemberment forms? Oh god, my ass leak. Oh, I forgot to actually grab the fucking... I feel like a dumbass. Man, why do you guys watch me? Why? I'm so dumb. I'm the worst. I suck. Val, fuck off. Bacon Vince, you've watched for a long time. But that just pissed me off. <laughs> you make me feel better about myself because you suck. Alright, Reno. You now owe me $500 for saying something so shitty. Electra stories are cool. Oh, you watch me because my catchphrase is piss and shit? I can get behind that. I can get behind that. That's a, that's a good reason to watch. Yeah, piss and shit is hilarious. Because you like Doom 3? I, I mean, I, I played Doom 3 for the first time this month. And yeah, I learned I liked it a lot. Doom 3's great. Doom 3 is, is underrated as hell. Hey, woman. Boink. Make a piss and shit t-shirt? I tried. Crowdmate didn't let me. True story. <laughs> Crowdmate was like, we're not making that. <laughs> and I'm like, you know... Stay focused. Stay committed. 
I'm upset that you won't, but I also completely understand why you won't. I can't sell it. I have an exclusive contract with uh, Crowdmaid. Makeshift plushy when? What is makeshift? I don't... We're working on new spring merch right now. because we're, we're working on a lot of stuff. Like... I need to advertise myself more. I need to... Okay. I need to be more comfortable promoting myself. And my Twitch page and my Patreon and all that stuff, you know? Uh... And I'm figuring out how to go about doing that. Uh, but somebody had a really good idea. Makeship is the company doing the Barney HLBRAI plushie. Oh, I'll talk to Wayne. I can't think of anything that would be a plushie for me, but... I'll ask Wayne about it then. Oh, a certain amount of them need to be sold. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Like how they do some vinyl releases. No one would buy a plushie of my cat. I forget who had the idea. All right, wait. What, who are the possessed soldiers? Aren't they these guys? Oh, come on. I've never heard the possessed soldier talk before. Is that not him? Oh, those are Hellraisers. Who are the possessed soldiers? Demonic threat reduced by 50%. 50 let's 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 go to the codex. Ah, uh, okay. Kind of similar. What's your guys' favorite weapon in this game? And least favorite weapon. My least favorite weapon in this game is a fucking rocket launcher. Kind of think the rocket launcher in this game sucks. But the rocket launcher in Eternal is awesome. Yeah, Goss Cannon is fucking awesome. I do love Goss Cannon. Playing this game without double jump is... Ugh. BFG in this game's okay. Never been a massive fan of this game's BFG. I think Eternal's BFG is better. Now, I know double jumps come later, but it's just like Eternal starts you with double jumps. And I just always keep trying to double jump. Yeah, the BFG is a little too powerful. I agree with that. I agree with that. Alright. Perform three death from above. Glory kills on possessed soldiers. Good. It's good to, good to hear. Good to hear. So I have the blue card. 
Okay. What's in here? Ah, oh, okay. Doom 2016 needs a remake. No, it doesn't. This game's beautiful, but... You know. It's just obviously, you know, they said that, you know, after you play Eternal, Doom Eternal... Well, after you play Doom Eternal, 2016 will be harder to come back to. They weren't lying. They were totally right. Yeah, the exploit to the BFG. Yeah. How was the process for the interview? Uh, I was told to wait until after they ship DLC 2. The blind council is always watching. Because they're busy as fuck right now. And they're not really planning on doing a whole lot of interviews to begin with, which is understandable, you know. Because they're already working on the next thing, which you don't need a, a Bethesda person to tell you that. They're, they're listings, job listings on the id website for their next unannounced project. No, yeah, I'd so much rather have the interview be after DLC 2 comes out, because then I can ask about, you know. DLC 2. Wow, Alex is your fourth most played game. I have Half-Life Alex is fucking awesome. Regardless of my feelings towards Valve, Half-Life Alex is an amazing game. Also, uh, I play Doom 2016 a lot different than I play Eternal. Uh, I do a lot of just meandering. I do a lot of just, like, walking around. What VR games would you recommend besides Alex and Boneworks? There's a lot of good ones on Quest. Um, Hyperdash, for one. of Dr. Beef's ports on the quest. Okay, I gotta remember to do those. Echo VR is pretty good. I Expect You to Die is one of my favorite VR games ever. Uh, Vacation Simulator is really fun. See, these are just Hellraisers. Yeah, I heard all about it. Thank you for letting me know, though. Cool. So... Two more secrets. We still have that whole area. Safe levels. Lockdown. Disengaged. Oh. Turbine room doors now open. Oh my god, I'm dooming. Oh my god, you're gonna make me doom. Doom 3 VR is awesome. Is Doom 3 VR a good way to play the game for the first time? I'd say it's the best way. Yes. Who's your favorite B-tuber? Corona. Because of all the Doom stuff. Like, even Id likes Corona. They put a fucking... You know, a reference to her in, in Ancient Gods Part 1 for a short time. Alright. So, I need to find one more collectible. Did Mike respond? Good question. No, not yet. Warning, 
I'm trying to remember where the secrets are. I gotta remember not to just end the level. I do that sometimes. <laughs> he fucking fell. Did you see the, did you see the imp fall? Damn, I'm gonna have to replay this level. Apparently 20% of Facebook is working on AR VR. Yeah, it's huge. They very much believe in it. Which sucks because like, why does it have to be the shitty comp? Why? Are there really not any more possessed soldiers? Have you beaten Doom Eternal on Ultra Nightmare? Fuck no. Beaten it on Nightmare? Have not beaten it on Ultra Nightmare. I don't think I could, given my current skill set. You have to try the quest too, guys. Like, you just have to. To understand. I mean, also, I guess you need to have been a VR enthusiast for the like since VR started, like myself, to understand just why the fucking quest is so monumental. I mean, Carmack believes in it, right? Like, I don't know. Will Valve sell your data when they make BCI? Most definitely. No, I know. I know that, you know, probably just wait for the quest three, you know. Didn't Gabe split off most of the BCI work into a different company? Yeah, for the most part. But Valve is very much allowed to do whatever they want with it. The core temperature is now stabilized. Cool. The primary control room has been activated somewhere nearby. It could be Olivia. Okay, so where is the final two secrets? We're missing an elite guard. I know the final elite guard's in there. We'll just, we'll, we'll take care of that. You can't go back? I could go back now. So where, oh, right there. That's right, for fucking forgot. How do I not know this? I've played this level like a hundred times. How do I not have these memorized by now? And then there's one more, oh. I know that this is in here. Doom 2016 BFG edition. I would, if that meant you would add it like Doom Eternal stuff to Doom 2016 and change up some of the levels to better reflect it. Holy shit. Oh my God, I have 11 weapon upgrade points. I don't think it would work out well. Yeah, but people didn't think like you know, BFG worked out well. 
Are you Italian? I'm very Italian. Thank you for noticing my Italianness. Is it the hair? Is it the hair? Why would Microsoft put Doom Eternal on Game Pass but not Doom 2016? Oh, that's a really good question. I don't know. All right, I'm looking up a guide. Fuck it. It's just I'm missing one secret. Fallout or Elder Scrolls in the id tech engine? That would not work. I don't think the uh, the, the id tech engine could really. It's it's complicated. Like they're they're the world building tools, you know. The world building tools. All right, what secret am I missing? Four. Oh, that's they're not in order. Okay. Uh, got that. Got that. Got that. Got that. Got that. That's right. No, you're looking at another decade before another true Fallout game from Bethesda Game Studios, like a Fallout 5. You're totally going to get some spin offs. No doubt in my mind, you're not going to. You're totally going to get some spin offs. But are the spin offs worth it? Uh, you know. Forgot. Fallout 5 before Half-Life 3? Yeah, probably. Fuck you. There it is. It's the rocket launcher, right? Yeah. Alright, so that's all the exploration points. The final elite guard is in the Olivia story room. So we're good to go. I always forget at least one. The Foundry is one of my favorite levels, if not my favorite level. But at the same time, it's just so big and sprawling. It's really hard to remember everything about it. Like, the Foundry reminds me of a Doom Eternal level, you know? Do you know what I mean? Okay. <sighs> Something that I don't remember who told me. It might have been John. It was somebody on the Discord. Somebody told me in a DM because I was worried about annoying people by, like, promoting my other shit, like my Twitch and my Patreon and my merch, Discord server, Steam group, that kind of stuff. Somebody told me, fuck, who cares? If you annoy people, you annoy people. They're still gonna watch your videos. <laughs> it doesn't matter. If you're making a good video, telling people that you make other good stuff is not gonna cause them to stop watching the video. Be confident in yourself. Advertise the fuck out of yourself. So, yeah, every video that doesn't have a sponsored spot, which sponsors have dried up. Again, your boy broke. Um. Man, you scare me, Olivia. Olivia Pierce. Alpha four, zero, two. Man, your password is just four characters? In 22 whatever? Oof. That's not secure. Alpha 4. 
She is trying to tear open the portal between our world and theirs. Vega, the supercomputer that's effectively just God, can you break open a four letter passcode? You could not have saved them anymore. It's her fucking spine. That spine gives me the heebie jeebies, the ghibli jibblies. Boy, he could brute force that password faster than you can blink. Alright, we didn't get the curb stomp one. I didn't even try. Oh man, imagine dying here. Her voice is terrifying, yeah. The system won't allow anyone but Olivia to override it now. We will have to shut down the Argent Tower manually from the surface. We're gonna have to replay that level later, but I'm not gonna do it now. Great fucking level. Oh my god, this is a great level. I like the destroyed version of this level better. I love this level. This level's fucking great. Do you know what happened to the footage of the QuakeCon 2014 demo of Doom? Uh, it exists. I'm trying to get it. Danny has it. You can prevent her from opening the gate by disabling the tower induction filters. Untethered cross-dimensional activity is a frequent occurrence outside of the gate. So it's recommended that... Well, yeah, you can't find it anywhere because it's not public. There's little bits and pieces of it in the Noclip documentary, but they purposely didn't make it public, and it's still not public. All right, what are my goals today? Rune Trial, Auto Map, Death from Above on Hell Knights. Okay. Also, I need to do a mastery of this thing, right? Get a direct hit with an explosive shot. Oh, wait. 20 direct kills on imps. Okay. I've got three. We're going for lightweight, so... Man, all things considered, like, Doom Eternal is one of my favorite games of all time. This game's fucking great. This game is so good. It'd be cool if Microsoft was like, yeah, we're gonna license out id Tech. id Tech 7. Why not? That'd be awesome. Id Tech 7's fucking beautiful. I've watched, like, every tech-related interview related to the engine that I can find. Digital Foundry has done some really, really good interviews with Billy, their lead engine software designer. Their lead engine, uh, their lead engine designer. Yeah. Especially the one where they did with Billy and Panic Button about how much they had to do to get it running on Switch, which I'm still amazed they were able to do that. Like, I'm never gonna play it, because it's, like, the worst possible way to play Doom Eternal, but the fact that they could do it at all blows my mind. Alright. I know it runs really well, but it's 30 FPS with, like, 4, 540p. What do I do? Alright. I started playing Snap Maps for the first time yesterday. Like, I've never really paid much attention to Snap Map. Oh my god. I didn't realize the tools they gave the community members were so fucking crazy. You can make custom Geo. I didn't realize you could make custom Geo. I played this crazy, like, beat em up level yesterday. It was awesome. I'm gonna be paying closer attention to, to Snap Map. Snap Map's really neat. I can't believe I, sp I I ignored it for five years. At release, not. Now you can. It's really neat. Doom Eternal doesn't come with Snap Map? No. Uh, no. They wanted to make Ancient Gods instead of Snap Map. That's what they said. Alright, so Hell Knights are the ones I need to do special glory kills on. 
I have four weapon upgrade points. I need five. So we're going to ignore it. Secret level is in nice. here somewhere. Yo, Young Good Sinatra. Day, Hope you are well, my dude. 14 months. Thank you so much for the everlasting support from my bud, Mr. Sinatra. I always forget where... Is it over here? Yeah. Does the existence of a Doom Eternal Year 1 pass imply a Year 2? No. And I'd, to be honest, rather them work on a new game instead of just keep pumping out levels for Doom Eternal. Like, the 12 plus 7 that we're getting is enough. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's a fuck ton of stuff. Um, and, you know, I'd like to see what Hugo and the gang are able to do after everything they've learned with Eternal, whether that be a, a Doom game or a new IP, or Quake, or Wolfenstein. They keep they talked a lot about the Doom universe that they wanted to build, which a lot of people thought, like, oh, Doom Cinematic Universe, oh, okay. Oh, I'd love to see Hexen. There's no information on them doing a Hexen game, but wouldn't it be cool to see, like, like how doom each i don't know just like medieval like wizards and magic and shit that'd be so cool like they already are going in that direction a little bit with the night sentinels drink water you know but i think it would be really really cool if they could like like make an id not cinematic, an id game universe, you know? Somebody was like, wouldn't it be cool if they made a fucking Commander Keen? Like, a legit side-scroller Commander Keen? And I'm like, oh, yeah. Please, no more cinematic universe. No, I mean, like, imagine if they combined Wolfenstein, Quake, Doom, all together in one, like, like they connected them all with, like, some kind of connected lore or something. Wouldn't that be dope? I mean, yeah, they already kind of do that with champions. That's true. I don't know. It seems like something Hugo would want to do. I'm very excited for the future of, of, of id. There's a lot of companies I'm excited for, and um, ironically, they're all owned by Microsoft now. <laughs> Which is kind of weird how that ended up happening, but hey, Microsoft News Network, I guess. Um, but like, id, arcane, obsidian, in exile. The Wasteland developer in exile is working on a first person Wasteland game. That sounds fucking awesome. You know? Tango Softworks is making that, um,. Ghostwire Tokyo game, which looks awesome. I saw all the Bethesda games getting added to Game Pass. Game Pass is so worth the money. Oh my god. First person wasteland game, yeah. And Exile started hiring for a first person RPG. Yep. And it ain't Bard's Tale 4, which is really good. Everybody got really pissed about Bard's Tale 4 because they were expecting it to just be Skyrim. Like a bunch of dumbasses. What are you, a dumbass? You sound like a dumbass. You're expecting Bard's Tale to be Skyrim. Don't forget a vowed. Holy shit, don't forget a vowed. You're right. Don't forget a vowed. Microsoft is fine putting their shit on Steam. In fact, there's rumors of Game Pass going on Steam. So... It, it, if Game Pass goes on... Holy shit, if Game Pass goes on Steam, though. Like, imagine that shit. <laughs> Bill Gates has, like, almost nothing to do with Microsoft anymore. Bill Gates' company can make good video games, but can you trust him with a safe vaccine? You know, Bill Gates is actively fucking over the vaccine, right? He didn't allow it to be open source. Fuck you. Ban that guy. If they're not memeing, ban that fucking dickhead. 
But yeah, Game Pass on Steam would be nuts. Use Steam content distribution platform servers. Yeah, that'd be absolute that'd be dream come true material. That'd be absolutely insane. I mean, like, Phil Spencer straight up said if they allowed it, they would put Game Pass on like Switch and PS5. Like, they're like, oh man, Game Pass is so good. Gabe does love the new Xbox, that's true. Avowed is not going to be an Elder Scrolls clone. No, have you? Avowed is a first person uh, Pillars of Eternity. Not Pillars, wait. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a first person Pillars of Eternity. It's them continuing the story of Pillars of Eternity in a first-person action RPG. Uh, more immersive sim elements, yeah, because it's Obsidian. Yes. Dark Messiah and Might and Magic 2? No, Avowed is not Arcane. Two different companies. You just fell over! Stagger! Come on! Did you see that shit? He just died! That's so annoying! Why does that name sound familiar? Scientivo. No, fuck, damn it. Astro Donnie! I can't see how long you've been subbed because my chat. Hold on. Fuck. Astro Donnie with the 10 months. Thank you very much. I've been your friend for a long time, and I'm also your friend on Discord. <laughs> you made a new video about the Switch? Sorry. Look at Prey in the cancelled Ravenholm. Valve should give Arcane the Half-Life IP. Valve should license it. Valve should let them do what they want with it. Yeah. Prey is... Oh my god, Prey is so good. Hold on, sorry. Yeah, Scientivo sent me the video. Think Roundhouse will return to Prey 2 in some way? Unfortunately, no. I don't think so. Do you think they rewrote some stuff for Eternal Story? Or do you think... Oh, I don't think they planned Eternal at all. No, 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 no. They didn't know that this would have been as much of a success as it ended up being. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely not. Well, the Ravenholm petition was noticed. It's just nothing happened from it yet. Because they were in the midst of the Microsoft acquisition when I started that. I just got boosted again. What the fuck? And I don't feel like I'm doing that good at finding secrets right now. Did I dash? No, I just, I, like, got boosted for some reason. Alright, what is this one? Okay, the barrel one.
This one is only hard because the last few barrels are really hard to find. Did Arcane ever give you that early Ravenholm demo? No. Still working on that, kind of. <laughs> I only noticed recently that the Hell Barrels scream when exploding. Yeah, they do. <laughs> it's because they're filled with, like, like souls or whatever. Um, okay. Any good co-op games for two to five people? Two to five. I always recommend um, Cook, Serve, Delicious. Fucking love Cook, Serve, Delicious. What platform are you playing? PC. Uh, Towerfall's really good. Pumble Party's really good. It's like violent Mario Party. Got it! You know, now that I think about it, I should have Electra play Pumble Party. That'd be a good stream game. Imagine a Left 4 Dead game in the Doom universe. That would be dope. But then again, I think anything in the Doom universe would be dope, so... You're so pissed for Left 4 Dead 3? I'm numb, man. I do not care anymore. Valve is... Ugh. Fun fact, tomorrow I'll be playing Skyrim for the first time. Carefully release the hinges. Good game. Daedric stuff is the best in, in, in the... Destroying the production of Argent energy isn't necessary. The Daedric stuff is my favorite in, in every Elder Scrolls game. Thieves Guild is good in that one. Uh, uh, people give Skyrim a lot of shit because it's so ubiquitous, but Skyrim's good. Skyrim is a good game. I do like Skyrim. You gotta mod it, obviously. But I have like 100 hours in Skyrim. I really enjoyed my time. I'm more of a Fallout fan than an Elder Scrolls fan. But I like, I like Skyrim. I like Oblivion more than Skyrim, though. I don't know where people's opinion on that is, but I do like Oblivion more. It's not an uncommon opinion? Oh, cool. Well, I mean, yeah, Oblivion's wonky, but at the same time, it's, like, fun. You know? Like, the wonkiness is kind of part of the charm. It was before the time that, that Bethesda was, like, this huge corporate entity that seemed like they were trying to, like, nickel and dime you out of everything. And you just thought, like, yeah, they're making a good game, the scope of it. You know. Also, I feel like it has some of the funnier moments in the entire Elder Scrolls series. And some of the best side quests. Like, I like the one where you go into the painting. 
with the magic paintbrush and all that. I like who done it. I like uh I like the Dark Brotherhood in that one. Yeah, I like, yeah. Skyrim's good. Skyrim is good. Uh, Dark, it, the guilds aren't as good as Oblivion's guild. Thieves' guild is good. Well, I won't talk, I don't want to spoil anything for you. There's some good shit in Skyrim. Why do I feel like the auto map's in here? Not an auto map, an upgrade bot. Your boy's a dumbass. <laughs> Trying to find a cure? That's hilarious. What do I have to do with this? Get 50 headshot kills, okay. Insurgency Sandstorm is awesome. Anything from those guys is worth your time. Do you ever think one day Valve is going to walk away from everything and just have an AI manage this team stuff? <laughs> So why did Valve get a Twitter again? Because they thought they were going to be more active after Half-Life Alex. That turned out to not be the case. They went right back to their old bullshit. Maybe that's why people left? Maybe. If Muraski left, it's over. It, like, I know that that's hyperbole, but, like... If, if Muraski actually did leave, something really bad happened. Do I think Citadel has anything to do with Team Citadel from TF2? Yes, I do. <clears throat> Watch my TF2 video. I literally talk about it. Stop, stop. Why does it do that? <laughs> I'm trying to get the super shotgun. Forgot where it's at. No, it's in the level. Forgot where it's at. Should we expect a bad future from Valve? I don't know. I just just know that I'm not... I'm not... Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. You must stop. The hell energy is unusable without the filters. Warning. What you are destroying is more valuable than you can possibly imagine. It is a perfect and Oops, foot slip. <laughs> I am not doing good with secrets today.
Is Samuel Hayden the voice of Roadhog? Is he? I didn't know that. That'd be fucking weird. He's Reinhardt. Oh, shit. Great voice actor. I love Samuel Hayden's. I love all the voices in this game. I love Olivia Pierce's voice. This game's so good. Now, I'm trying to remember. Where the poop ball? The auto map is over there. It's, it's near my goal. So let's go over there. Favorite voice actor? Hmm. Demon breach detected. To be honest, probably Mike Shapiro, because he's just, like, I, I don't think anybody could do G-Man the way he does. Yeah, Mike Shapiro's fucking... The guy who does Blasco in the new Wolf games is amazing. You're right. Matthew Mercer is also very good. Matthew Mercer is the one that plays Levi, right? In, in Attack on Titan. Alex and Prey is pretty good. I forget his name. Have I watched the new Attack on Titan? No, I'm waiting for it to all be over so I can binge it. Oh, it's gonna have a break halfway through? Well, then I'll binge it when the break happens. Is Tyler vegan? No, I'm vegetarian. Where's the auto map? Oh, did I get the auto map? Where's the auto map? Where? <laughs> Where's the auto map? It's right there. Before I do anything. You're probably gonna hate the last two seasons, but I'm in it till the end. What are you talking about? I'm gonna hate the last two seasons of Attack on Titan? Electra told me that, because Electra's read the manga. Warning. Energy contamination at critical levels. Least favorite enemy in the game. Boop, 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 boop. Lots of controversy and development of the anime. They had to redo some parts. Oh boy. Yeah, I wasn't that pleased when I heard they changed studios because I was very, very happy with the first three seasons. But let's stop talking about Attack on Titan because we're going to end up spoiling shit. We spent decades perfecting the science, selling it to you. It works! <laughs> We 
balance their hell energy with our science, making it usable and safe. We solved an energy crisis the world has no answer for. It works. It works! Do this. It works! I love that line. Where in the fuck is the super shoddy secret? How... How did I miss the super shoddy secret? He do do farted for the good... Oh my god, I hate how fucking childish I am. Alright. Where am I headed? I'm headed... To this general area. So... Yeah, let's, let's go this way. It works! Going the wrong way, going the wrong way. It works! The science! And the cost! It works! Boink! Can I get over there from here? No. Wait, I can see a guy. Did I just see a guy? My name is Wario! Hello! And that's when you say, Hello, Wario! Hi, I'm Wario! This is my real voice! Wow! Yeah! Wow, Wario, you sound cool! That's right! <laughs> I'm Wario! Ah! I almost fell. God damn it. Where's that ship going? This is not where I wanted to go. Cuz I'm Wario. You're going to get yelled at for being too loud. I was thinking that too. <laughs> These streams are fun. I deserve more viewers. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. Luigi's voice. Hey, Wario! Hi, I'm Wario! <laughs> My name's Bones! Yeah, okay. Oh my good golly gosh. Jesus Christ. Okay. It's gonna take me a while to get there. It's outside the room with the plants growing in the waterbeds. Um, the hydroponic lab? Duh. How do you have 60,000 viewers in less than 100 views? Because my life is pain. Because I get the shit end of the stick for always and forever. Everybody hates me. Do you like gameplay over story or vice versa? I don't know. I like, I like games. I don't really care. Is there a good game? If it's a good game, press one.
Let's get one of them headshot kills. Yeah. What does the mastery do? Oh. Boink. Ammunition fired from Zoom uses experimental heavy damage rounds. Fuck yeah! Isn't this the end of the level? I don't know, is it? Wow, one Hell Knight. You know what? Let's waste some charges. All right. Berserk it up! Boink! Boink! Isn't this the end of the level? Mm -hmm. Yep. We need a Todd Howard interview? Fuck that. I say that, and then I'll get it, and then they'll show him the clip, and then I'll lose the interview. I don't know, man. Todd Howard's a figurehead. Okay. Okay. Where in the good lord of fuck is the super shotgun secret? I'm missing two secrets! Okay. So this area is one secret, and then this area is another secret. Uh, man. Behind me. Is the super shotgun in this level? Wait. Is the super shotgun in this level? I don't remember. Which secrets? Yes. Uh, oh, it's over here. It's this whole area I've not explored yet. Fuck. Okay, how do I get over there? Favorite Beatles song, go! If you answer something fucking stupid, you're banned. Here comes the sun! That's my favorite Beatles song! Fuck off. I, didn't, I just didn't even go over this part of the level. Boink! Yellow submarine, ban. 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 In the town! Fuck you. I was born. Ah! Tomorrow never knows modern because the drums deserve it. Holy shit. Holy shit. Dude. Dude. How do I VIP you? Dude, I've never heard a more true statement muttered by my audience before. That's some Beatles nerd cred. I, 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 I appreciate it. You usually don't hear it from this group, but that was dope. That was dope. You give me hope. Okay, so the level is completed. Now let's beat the level. You can VIP people? What the fuck? I thought it was a joke. Are you new here? No, seriously, if, if, or do you just not watch Twitch? Roletto, you've been here for years. The fuck are you talking about? Question. 
questioning your faith? Drink water. Yeah. I need to get more. Questioning your faith? Yes, every day. Can I get a VIP? No. You gotta do something worth it. No, VIP is useless. It literally- it does nothing. But I just want everybody to know, that guy knows his Beatles cred. Mono- My god, specifically saying mono tomorrow never knows. You are a lad. this last filter and Argent Energy will no longer exist in this solar system. P. We will be back at square one. A3 Sherman. There's nothing wrong with being a Twitch regular. It's a site run by Jeff Bezos, after all. That's true. You have no idea what you have just done. Uh, I fucked up your shit, didn't I? Olivia is still alive. I've detected her life signature at the Argent Tower. She has removed one of the accumulators from the tower base. It has a unique energy signature that we You're the only reason I have a Twitch account, Lamau. Hey, I appreciate it. Well, that's it then. There's nothing else to be done. Sam, you tried to bring Algen Energy back, and then you brought Hell on Earth. You're the worst. Argent Tower, double dump, double, double jump. Ah. Uh. Primary access points to the yeah. tower were destroyed in the explosion. Uh oh. The pipeline is damaged but still intact. Oh, that's no good. Oh god, look at there the beauty. Thrust boots, in the <gasps> thrust boots. Let's do some thrusting. You can use them to reverse the pipeline. Kill Olivia Pierce. Okay, geez, calm you down. It's dude. the Revenant and Doom Eternal better. Locked down, down disengaged. All right, we're gonna get the double jump boots before I do the run trial. What do I have to do today? Find three secrets, glory kill imps, quad damage kills, okay. Completed in 2127, based off a prototype developed by Samuel Hayden's research team. The Argent Tower, also known as the Argent Inductor, is the UAC's <laughs> It's how they get stuff from Earth, from Mars to Earth. Wait, were we on Phobos or Mars? I don't remember. From here to there. What do you think about Nicolas Cage? You ever seen the movie Family Man? It's a good movie. What achievements do I need? All right, we'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh, multiplayer, 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 multiplayer. Multiplayer, arcade mode, arcade mode, multiplayer, multiplayer. Okay. So we're going from here to here, and it's all just 100% stuff. That's fine. We're on Mars. Yeah, the Argent, it, it effectively acts as like a broadcaster of energy. That's right. I read all the, I read all the fucking lore. Get on my level. That's right, John sent me a PDF of all the codex entries. And <laughs> I read them all. Have I played Stalker? No, not yet. 
It's the 5G Mars. That's what it is, yeah. All right, this one's kind of hard. <clears throat> Girls are cute. I like girls. I saw Electra's boobas today. It was really cool. What the fuck am I talking about? Idiot! What do you think about girls? Girls are cool. Girls' bodies can build other bodies. That's fucking dope. My body can't do that. My body shits a lot. And it's hairy. But girl bodies, they build other bodies. That's so fucking tight, man. That's so cool. So cool. Well then. Girl's body's also shit. Yeah, but it's all I do though. I can't build another person. They can build a person and shit. That's the whole package. All right, there's an Argent cell. Boink, boink, yep. get up there but you can piss while standing you don't think girls can't do that I've seen it it is fucking nuts girls can piss while sh piss piss while standing they can do that yeah ah fuck I was too distracted by imagining my wife pissing while standing Electra told me this story about how back when she was little, she used to be taken to this babysitter a lot. And when she was there, the boys would like, they would play outside and the boys would go into the like woods or whatever to, to pee, right? And she's like, I wanna go in the woods to pee. And someone told her like, oh, you can't do that. It's boys can pee in the woods because they can pee standing up. And so she taught herself how to pee standing up when she was, like, four. Electra's the coolest motherfucker you've ever met, man. Electra's so cool. Boys have the power of horny. That is not a power, that is a curse. The curse of horny has caused so many destroyed lives and abuses and shit. Fuck the power of horny. Fuck that. You see that video today? 97% of rapists don't spend a day of life in their day of their life in jail. Fucked up. Power of horny is destructive and a bad part of our society. Can you go back to 60 hertz or has a higher frame rate ruined you? A higher frame rate has ruined me. My laptop, I ordered the 1080p 144 hertz model years ago and they accidentally sent me the 4K 60 hertz model, which was the more expensive laptop because it came with a better graphics card than what I paid for. So I didn't say anything about it, because it's a really good video editing laptop, but I can't really play games on it like I wanted to, because of the 60. Man, fuck you. What are, what are you doing?
You know, I haven't actually talked to Anger since they announced the death of Artifact. I'm worried about her. You know, she got a job. She's not a normie anymore. She's not a neat. She legit just got like a regular job. I thought that was funny. When she told me that, I was like, Anger! What the fuck? HDR has ruined movies for me. I've never seen HDR. My new TV can handle HDR, but I've not utilized it yet. Have you watched Spice and Wolf, Tyler? I don't know what that is. So, no. Sounds like an anime. Electra and I were literally telling each other today at Target that we need to watch anime movies because we've seen, like, none of them. We haven't seen any of the Ghibli films, no. Is Spice and Wolf a Ghibli film? Because I don't know a fucking thing about those. Are you sick of the Among Us memes? I have been a common... I have been on the internet for like 15 years. No. I'm used to memes, <laughs> so whatever. That's like asking me a couple years ago if I was sick of, of, you know, Ugandan Knuckles. It's just part of it, you know? And I do agree that TTT is a better version of Among Us, yeah. Do you know the way? And do you remember, do you know the way? You remember that? I thought it was funny the first time I saw it. The the Germa sus image though, eh. never really been funny to me. Not uh, maybe it's because I'm getting older. Maybe it's because it's just not funny. I mean, like, you know, just saying, like, all Zoomer humor can't be funny. That's, like, obviously that's not the case. I'm sure there's some good stuff. But, like, no. Like, I don't think that that specific meme is funny. I mean, part of that might be that I'm actually friends with Germa. But whatever, I don't know. How the virgin chat, the virgin chat meme keeps coming back. It's because it's a universal thing, you know. The memes that you can apply the current thing of the day on. Those will last much, much longer. I thought the E meme was funny. I thought E was funny. Do you like Big Chungus? I thought it was funny the first time that I saw it. A lot of these I thought were funny the first time I saw them. You know? They don't have the lasting effect that people seem to think they do, you know? The uh, There was the e the, the e uh, meme that was like, just the EA Sports thing, but it was just E over and over and over again, and then it went even further with just E. And then you, they added Lord Farquaad into it for some reason. Never understood that one. What do you think about the rat movie, the one made by Germa? Not the shitty Pixar. Hold on, hold on. Does this guy really think Ratatouille is is shitty? You think Ratatouille is a shitty movie? That's. Ooh. That is, that is a bad take. 
Ratatouille is one of the best ones. Hello, and welcome to the UAC, home of the patented Argent Energy Filtration System developed by Dr. Olivia Pierce. We are the only corporation with this technology. Able to convert pure are you? energy into clean, controllable Argent energy. It powers this facility and is broadcast throughout the universe from Argent Tower, providing all the energy a family needs to live a fun and productive life on Earth and the surrounding colonies. But we can't do it alone. It takes a team to make it happen. All right, let's a find team the tower. of people full of energy, potential energy. Unleash your potential with the UAC. Hello, Tyler McGamer. Thank you for your interest. Inside in Out made energy. me cry. Like a lot. Pixar movies have always made me cry. I cry a lot. I, I'm a crier. Electra always makes fun of me whenever I cry. What am I supposed to push to get the elevator back online? Cars 2 should be illegal to watch. Cars 2 sucks. I seen I've seen almost every Pixar movie before inside out and before in theaters. All right, there's a quad here, so I gotta... And then there is a second quad in the tower. So we're good. Are you thinking of doing a Boneworks video? Uh, no. I'm thinking of doing a Project 4 video, though. Like, I'm friends with Alex, the creative director of uh, Stress Level Zero. And right now, they're just busy with, with getting back to the office. So. You know. I don't know. Uh, Project 4 video is definitely something I want to make. How does it look with your company slash website? What do you mean by that? Tyler Tylerson. Dumb question, I'm, uh, but I'm sure you've answered this a thousand times. Is this Doom or Doom Eternal? This is Doom 2016. Yeah. Do you think... Oh, shit. How long have you been there? You've been sitting there this whole time? I'm not waiting for you. What are you waiting for? I was wondering when you started the movies if you were Oh, you finished the book? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll end the stream then. We've been streaming. It's gonna be a really good movie. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, Alec wants to watch a movie. So I'm gonna go hang out with Alec. Um, thanks everybody that was watching today. We streamed for like three hours. We'll stream more tomorrow. We'll continue this tomorrow. Uh, next video is about Super Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey 2 and the Super Switch. Uh, I'm about... 30% through that one. Uh, love you guys. Peace and hair grease. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.